Hi, I'm Glenn, here today to show you what's in my pack. Now what I take on a trip will depend a little bit on that particular trip, but what I'm going to show you is pretty typical for 98% of the trips I go on. We'll start with inside the pack. I've got my food bag, a little homemade job out of Spinnaker. Got a Trail Designs cooking kit. Got a special Cuban fiber insulated stuff sack that's homemade. It holds all the pieces together and also has insulation sewn in so it keeps meals warm and works as a cup. Inside I've got the Trail Designs graham cracker. This is a variant of the Foster's can setup that I typically use. Got a small lighter, orange so I don't lose it, wrapped in a rag so it doesn't rattle when I'm hiking, and that's the cook kit. Also I've got some Esbit tabs for fuel. Got a bear hanging bag if I'm in an area where I'm allowed to hang food with some Spectra cord, a little mini carabiner, and a garlic bag to serve as the rock throwing bag. And then my favorite bamboo spoon, lightweight, feels great. And in a lock sack, odor-proof bag, keep my food from being uh, marauded by a variety of critters. Next in the bag, I've got my clothing bag. This is a homemade stuff sack out of Cuban fiber. I prefer to keep all my insulation weight in my sleeping bag, but as a luxury item or if I'm hiking with people that I know are going to hang around at night, I'll maybe throw in a uh, little Montbell down vest. Almost always take my possum down hat and gloves. And then for my wind shirt, rain shirt, got a dry ducks jacket. I usually take one size larger than would otherwise be necessary so I can drape my sleeping bag inside as extra insulation. Next I've got, if I expect rain or some wind for some reason, I have a pair of spinnaker chaps that attach onto my uh, pants. And last, because as you'll see I don't carry much of a sleeping pad, I have a famous butt pad. It's got a hole in the middle for my tailbone. You just slip that in your sleeping bag, slide it around, it gives you double insulation or uh, double cushion without carrying the whole pad. So that's the clothing. Next I've got my shelter. Again, it depends on the trip. This is a uh, Cuban fiber wedge. It's got four carbon fiber stakes, a polycryo ground cloth. It uses my trekking poles to set up. If I'm expecting a little more weather, um, I would probably take the spin twin or something like that. And then I've got my sleeping bag. This is inside a uh, bag for rain protection, a mylar bag. And this is of course my sleep light, no down on the bottom, a uh, full integrated hood. And that's pretty much wraps up what's in my bag. And I have a lot of stuff in pockets. I've got maps, these are usually in my pocket. I've got my Maui Gym titanium sunglasses, super light. And as an added advantage, they don't have any springs, so there's nothing to fail. It's always nice not to have failures. And then my personal hygiene kit. I have a plastic bag for packing out used toilet paper. I've got a little mini hydrocortisone package for any kind of rash. I've got a mini hand sanitizer and I prefer to use natural materials but uh, usually keep a couple of half of shop cloths for polishing as we say. That's my personal hygiene kit. Next, uh, usually on my right side, I carry a smart water bottle. Uh, I like to carry emergency and don't like to gunk up my uh, hydration bladder. Um, so to keep that clean, I carry an extra bottle. This is a tall shape. It's easy to pull out. 
of the pack while, while you're walking without taking the pack off. Then in the pack itself, I use my sleeping socks. These are just some regular fleece socks as my shoulder strap padding. I also carry, uh, typically, or often anyway, carries a, carry a camera and a shoulder strap pocket. I like the Casio XLM. It's got great battery life um, and really takes some great pictures for the, for the weight. I find, uh, since I'm often hiking in arid areas, uh, that hydration is crucial to how I feel um, and how I perform. And I find that just for me personally, I drink a lot more water if I have a hydration system. So uh, the Murmur does have a little uh, ledge on the inside that you can put your hydration bladder on the inside and does have a hole that you can take the tube out. I prefer the ease of keeping it right behind my back. Here's my sleeping pad. Again, just for the torso, three eighths inch foam, a little padding to even out the uh, sharpest rocks and keep me warm. And then I just, I like to take about a three liter platy, fill it up uh, so it's not completely full and stays flat and just slip it behind that. Then I have my ditty bag that contains all my miscellaneous gear. Now a lot of these, when I'm actually hiking, will be in my pockets for ease of use and keeping track of. So let's just see what's in here. I like to be an intentional hiker. I learn something every trip I take, either from my experiences or the gear and things that other people experience. And so I always have uh, some kind of journal or a piece of paper and a Sharpie pen. For uh, keeping track of things that I want to be able to get in a hurry, this is usually around my neck on an easy C cord, a Dermasafe blade, a whistle for signaling other members of the party, and my flashlight. Don't want to be looking for this when it's dark in a dark pack. Right now I'm using the Phoenix. For water treatment, I use Aquamira. I have that in mini bottles. This is about a five day supply and includes a mini bottle of part A and part B, a mixing cap, and a little pre-filter to keep the larger floaties out. For dental hygiene, I have a mini toothbrush and a couple of individual packets of floss. For keeping clean and washing laundry, I have a small bottle of Dr. Bronner's. For dressing chapped hands and feet, I have a very small bottle of lotion. Also uh, serves as sunscreen, this is SPF 30. I have, if I choose to mix up some Aquamire for the day, I have a very small bottle to keep track of that. I'm prone to um, fever blisters in the sun in, at high altitude, so I have a small tube of Abriva and some prescription Valtrex. As I get older, it's harder to read those maps, so I have a pair of uh, reading glasses. These are eye for you lenses, super lightweight. Just put them right on your nose. Then the only thing that's left is the medical and repair kit. Inside in the lock sack for protection, I have liquid bandage. Uh, this is relatively heavy, but it has a lot of uses. It's super effective for blister prevention, to put on hot spots and uh, small cuts. I have some Tums, the quick pack. These are nice, they're already powder, so you don't need to uh, worry about the solid tablets getting crunched up in your pack. I have an emergency fire starter with some Tinder Quick. And for blissful nights on a very thin pad, I never leave home without Tylenol PM. For high altitude, I'm living at sea level, I'm sometimes prone to headaches, uh, so I hydrate uh, well and always have some Excedrin with me. Also handy for care of hot spots or blisters is some Kinesio tape. This is a stretchable tape, sticks very well, 
and is uh, just a great product to have. For medications, I have a, a gas X strip. Again, takes very little room. Have uh, two doses of Imodium, two doses of Benadryl. I have a surgical scalpel if needed. Then for wound repair, I have some smaller band-aids. I have a large pad for larger areas of abrasion and then some uh, butterfly bandages for closure of wounds. I do have some compedes for, again, blister care. These are filled with gel. They come in a variety of sizes, so I have a couple of those. I have a package of antibiotic ointment for wound care. I have a couple of small uh, Ziploc bags for anything that I open to keep it from oozing, uh, the remainder of it from oozing over the rest of the kit. I have some scar tissue on the bottom of one of my feet, so I carry some uh, donut moleskin pads to help to, uh, with that situation. I do take a small pair of scissors for trimming bandages and tweezers for removing splinters, some hydrocortisone cream, and a repair kit. Repair kit includes a safety pin, a needle, some thread, and some duct tape, a few inches of duct tape. And that's what's in my pack.